Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Osh. I'm Michaela. This packaging is a little too adorable for me. It's just I a little. Love it. Can you guys even see? Ugh. Barefoot, please sponsor us. Please it's sponsor us. We drink you all the time. Cheers. Mm. It's perfect. It's like the and it's perfect literally amount. like juice. It's, it's so good. Amount. This is great. This will definitely mm. get me a little bit litty. What is Am I the Asshole? Do your explanation. Oh yeah, so <laughs> if you guys are not familiar with what Am I the Asshole is, it's basically a Reddit forum and people write in and they talk about their uh, messed up situations and they leave it up to us to decide if they are the asshole in it or not and that's what we discuss on this channel so yep and sometimes you know these people they need that unbiased opinion and we are here to give it to you mm -hmm. so you guys can give it to them okay yeah and we want to hear all your opinions in the comments below also um I don't know if you want to address this, but I have been seeing that some people are like, oh, we want some vlogs and we want some like mm -hmm. other type of content and yeah. we're not uh, like opposed to it. We will give you guys some new content and some different content, but we really like this and like we do, you know, and it's, I get it. Like it's not change. what we used to do, yeah. but this is, this is new and this it's, is what we're going to stick with for yeah. a while. Obviously we're going to like try to integrate <clears> other things too, yeah. just so you guys are happy and content with all of our content but you know this well, we is what actually it, love a majority of it will be exactly like, that is our content so and we we just enjoy uh, talking and like going through the scenarios with you guys we have to do a reader write in one because a lot of people oh have God, we have so, so many, many so many emails so mm -hmm. we're definitely going to do that yeah. if you want to send in your anonymous scenarios please send them to ashnakayla at gmail.com and make sure you tell us, are they anonymous or can we say your name? Am I the asshole for having a very strict pants weather and shorts weather rule for my teenage kids? Hmm. I'm a single mother who is responsible for the health and safety of my kids. I'm also very busy and as such, I just have to have some rules laid out so there are no misunderstandings while I'm not around. One rule I'm adamant on is that they have to dress appropriate for the weather so that they don't get sick since they have been a little. The no break objective rule is that if the overall low temperature for the day is less than 64 degrees What's that Fahrenheit? 17.7 7, so almost almost 18. Yeah, it's pants weather If the low is higher then they can wear shorts. It's simple and easy to know and follow in my opinion They both played basketball and they expected me to be out on a date which didn't go well They both had walked home from practice in their practice uniforms when it was about to be 50 degrees outside I was livid because they will break up the rules, but they also were trying to get away with it mm -hmm. since they thought I would be out. I punished them both by taking away their phones. My daughter has to break up with her boyfriend, and what? obviously, basketball season is over. <laughs> <laughs> what? They both said they want to go live with their dad, who has been fighting me for custody for three years, and called me an asshole in about 20 different ways, and said you are to give those phones back immediately. I said no, and he can be more involved if he cares that much. Am I the asshole for having this rule? Yes, you are the freaking what is she a dictator what the hell is going on the punishment like hello the punishment yeah. does not fit the crime like they were first of all they came out of basketball practice or whatever they're hot they're probably boiling hot and it's 10 degrees it's not that cold it's so tedious to even look at the like at your phone at the app to, like, like are you make serious? sure that you're meeting mom's requirements like it's just what if i'm very feeling hot this day yeah. what if i'm feeling cold this day so, so she has to break up her relationship Basketball season is over. You're never playing basketball again. No. And give, give me, me your phones. phones. Forever. Yeah, no, yeah. I want to live with dad too. Yeah. Me too. Get me out of this yeah. lady's house. This lady's crazy. No, this lady is, she's so unreasonable and mm -hmm. almost, like, do you think maybe she's like trying to be like too controlling? Too controlling, even to like somehow get the dad mad or mm -hmm. something because even the dad, like, the dad has been fighting her for custody for three years. Now. Imagine other the other insane, unre unreasonable rules she has in yeah, the house. Yeah, right? Like, that's not fair. Mm -hmm. That's totally not fair. And then that's just gonna make the kids not want to talk to you because you're like an unreasonable, insane person. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. you are the asshole. Yeah. And you're just like setting up the standard for them to like not fully trust you or not be able to like open up to you, I feel yeah. like. Because if it starts with them trying to sneakily wear whatever they want, imagine what else it'll lead to, like them trying to sneakily do behind your back, you 100%. know? It's just ridiculous and this rule is very unnecessary. I feel like she's just trying to prove her like assertiveness and her control. Mm -hmm. And your kids are like doing like, like they're going to basketball practice, that's a very good positive mm -hmm. thing that they're doing and like you are punishing them and taking something that's positive in their life away. You know how because many teens so are doing way worse than wearing shorts when you're not like supposed to wear shorts because it's cold, like And really? if they get sick, that's their punishment. 
let that be the punishment they got themselves sick and now they're gonna have to miss a couple practices maybe because of that like at parenting too like i feel like you get so much different joys at different ages and i feel like it's your adulthood is the longest part of your life right mm -hmm. you want to set up your kids you only raise them for a little bit and then the rest of it they're adults they're individual people then they don't have they don't owe you anything after that you want to set up yourself so like you guys can have like a good relationship yeah for the majority of the time you guys are together mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like that adult relationship you have is, can be so amazing if you have like a good relationship with your parents. But if they do stupid shit like this, it makes kids like not want to be in their parents' lives anymore. Yeah. You know? It's just something about the child to teenager, like pre-adolescent to teenager crossover that controlling parents just need to like... I don't know, like I feel like they're trying to really hold on to like their childhood. You know what I yeah, mean? They're like so scared true. to let them be grown and have their own decision making yeah. and like and like they don't need you as much yeah, like, yeah and then they they go od with the control because they're like no like you're still my child yeah. but it turns into controlling it's not the vibe very bad vibes yeah, yeah. bad vibes anyway. it's bad parenting yeah so. you are the asshole for sure am i the asshole for not punishing my seven-year-old daughter for her play relationships my husband and i have a seven-year-old daughter together layla a few months ago layla got a quote-unquote boyfriend lucas they're both seven, so it's obviously not a real relationship. They just hold hands sometimes and draw each other hearts for Valentine's Day. This week, Layla was apparently holding hands with another boy, who also <laughs> sent Layla a Valentine's Day love Aww. letter, and Lucas took offense to it. I'm we found dumb. out because Lucas's parents called to tell us Lucas won't be coming over to us this Saturday like it was originally planned because he's mad at Layla. My husband wants us to punish Layla and wants me to have a talk with her about faithfulness. At first, I thought he was joking, but no, he was serious. He says that Layla cheated on Lucas and I, as her mother, should do something about it. I told my husband that Layla is seven, not a cheater, and I won't treat her as such. <laughs> he then accused me of raising a cheater and encouraging the bad behavior. Am I the asshole for not wanting to punish Layla? Oh my god, this is so tricky. Cause this like, one is tricky. It's a very... It's a lesson to be taught here, but it's okay. also like she's seven and it's not a real relationship. So it's like she doesn't even. OK, I think there's definitely a lesson to be taught here. I think you can have a talk with Layla, but it's so weird that the dad is calling her a cheater. Like you're raising a cheater. Layla is a cheater. She's yeah, seven she and understand. she doesn't really understand the depth of relationships. She's yeah. just holding another boy's hand. Maybe she doesn't like maybe you, sh you can teach her that like maybe you can be like you can have one boyfriend at a time yeah like just like just so you know play that one boyfriend at a time only mm -hmm. if you don't like lucas anymore you got to tell him before you hold his hand but don't be like you're raising a cheater that sounds like he has like some sort of like inner issue mm -hmm. with the mom even maybe that's so funny because at seven i definitely had a boyfriend too seven eight i feel like you, you had know? a boyfriend at seven eight. but it wasn't anything more like i i know what i was thinking then it mm. was just like you're just like my friend but i like you we hold hands and kiss sometimes but like it. you're just yeah. my friend though like it's not like obviously you don't I'm not, see yeah. them as anything more than just you know you don't have emotional no like, it's nothing like that it's like for funsies yeah like, like you're playing house. Like, you don't have like like that sense of loyalty yet i don't mm -hmm. think at seven you clearly know? lucas felt some type of <laughs> he felt some type oh, of way so he, was he was hurt he said i'm not coming over yeah. and another boyfriend yeah yeah do you have that sense i think that's like really advanced at seven, no? Or am I tripping? I like I wish my brain went back that way. <laughs> you know what? You're sorry. Like, I don't know how I felt. Out of touch with seven year old. You know? Me. Don't think you're the asshole, but I do think you're nah, the Because if my seven year old boyfriend at the time got another girlfriend, I would feel some type of way. Well, so you like Yeah, you're I would feel some type of way. I would feel some type of way. So maybe she should have a I think a conversation, but yeah. don't be like you're raising a cheater. A cheater yeah. Like not. the dad is taking it way too serious. Am I the asshole for taking advantage of a glitch on a restaurant website? Ooh, we love a glitch. <laughs> we love a glitch. Is that a free thing? <laughs> <laughs> On Valentine's Day, I ordered food from my wife's favorite chain restaurant. I noticed that the online ordering system had a glitch. One item, instead of being $21.99, was priced at minus $3.50. Oh, wow. Yeah. So as a joke, I ordered my food, her food, and two orders of the mispriced item. <laughs> I figured the system would catch the mistake and take those items off my order before I paid for the purchase. The bill was not $80 plus like I expected. It was about $35. So I added a 10% tip for pickup and off I go. I thought worst case scenario, I have lunches for a couple of days. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about ordering enough of that entree to make my bill zero dollars. I didn't since it was all online, the restaurant didn't even process the purchase. I walked and got my food and walked out. My wife was waiting when I got home with our food 
and she asked about the extra food. I showed her the bill and explained that not only was it free, it actually subsidized our dinner. <laughs> she got upset with me for stealing from her favorite restaurant. She said I probably got someone in trouble. She wanted me to drive back to the restaurant and pay them the extra money. I refused. <laughs> I refused, so we have been arguing for a couple of days now. I feel kind of bad for doing something that started a fight on Valentine's Day. One last thing, this is a massive chain restaurant. It's not like one mom and pop Italian restaurant. Okay. Is going out of business. Okay, that's that's a good- Think, that's a good. think like Chili's, so am I the asshole? That's a good detail to add because I was literally gonna be like, is it a yeah, small, is it a little, yeah. little like a locally owned business? Cause then I don't, I don't rate it, mm -hmm. but I'm not I gonna mean, lie. Listen. If the opportunity, you, yeah. Why is a, I'm just trying to understand like you like giving, you like spending money. Like the one thing is, I get, the one sorry to interrupt you. The one thing I get is that it's her favorite restaurant, and if they're there all the time, and if they like somehow found out it was them, but you can always play it off. Yeah, I, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. I was an accident. Like, yeah, I was, you know, like, I think I that's know. good Samaritan. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I'm not. I, if it was me, I would happily take my. Yeah, no, I would. And we never start tipped. a fight. He tipped. He's a very copper. Yeah. 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 No, I would. It would never start a fight. And um, I don't. I don't think you're the asshole. I think it's no. so extra to be like go back yeah. and give it back. Yeah. Like you're no. doing. You're, you're doing too much even at that point. Because then they would. What are they gonna do with your old taken home food? They're not yeah. gonna take it, and they're not gonna give you like you don't know. No, like it's. They would just charge him, I guess, the full amount. Yeah, and it's like. At this point, I'm already home. I'm not leaving my house to pay more it's money. It's like on Valentine's Day. Like, enjoy your dinner. Why are you still a guest? As like some, you, like a universe, yeah. like okay, we got extra food or whatever. You know what I mean? That's like it's crazy. Yeah, no, you're not the asshole. No. She's not talking to. Him. But some people are like that. I know. It's I'm just so not like that, so I can't annoying. understand. Like, are you just like Miss Perfect? Are you perfect? <laughs> Why, you so you've never, you bad. never did anything you bad. Never like, steal. <laughs> You never stole it? Come on. That's crazy. You said it's a chain restaurant. I don't see anything wrong with it. You tipped. You go there often. You give them a lot of business. Especially because, especially exactly. Especially because it's a chain restaurant. You know how many times Starbucks has given me a free drink? Or like, given me extra, like more. Or they're like, oh, do you want an extra one? Yeah. Or they're like, oh, we made this. Nobody wants it. Do you want it? Like, they're going to be okay. Yeah. So you should be okay with it. Am I the asshole for buying lower grade steaks when my in-laws visit and serving my mom and dad Wagyu? <laughs> Nah, I'm fighting. Yeah, like, <laughs> not like my state. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. No, not you. Not no, you. no, no. <laughs> my wife and I live far away from both our sets of parents. We visit them a couple times a year and they visit us about the same. My mom and dad love food. They will buy pounds of garlic and leave it in a rice maker for a month to make black garlic. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, they plan for a month? Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, they plan their vacations around amazing restaurants. My in-laws are lovely people, but boiling chicken and drumsticks is fancy for them. They refuse to eat steak if it isn't well done. I discovered this the first time I went to their home for dinner. I wasn't even asked how I like my steak. Everyone got a well done steak. Oh. It took me years to convince my wife to try medium myrrh steak and now she loves it. I bought some beautiful prime steak for them when they came over when we moved in together. I made theirs medium well and I died a little inside. <laughs> Her dad took it back to the grill and destroyed them. So now I buy select grade meat. I've been buying select, some excellent quality Wagyu for when my parents visit. Not every single time, maybe once a year. Um, and if you guys don't know, Wagyu is very expensive. It is like for like a steak or like a slab. It's, it's an like steak. very pricey. So my wife says I'm being an asshole by not treating both families the same. I don't think I should waste money on great food for them when I don't know how they'll treat it. So am I the asshole? No. No, you're not, you're not the, the asshole. asshole. At first, I thought you were. Yeah. But if someone doesn't appreciate it, there's no there's point no, of spending extra. I get why she's catching feelings, but you have to remind her, hey, you just started eating medium yeah. because I forced you to. And you cannot cook a Wagyu steak well done. No. <laughs> well done is not going to cut it. It with literally Wagyu, touches so, it. Like, yeah. You know, like. I'm sorry. Well done steak is like, you just don't eat the steak because mm -hmm. you're ruining it at that Would point. they even know, like, if they're all sitting at the same table? Will they care? I think they would care just because it's like, like oh, so they get the good one and we get this, the scraps. Like, I definitely would care, mm -hmm. even if it was something I knew nothing of. I'd be like, oh, well, what the heck? Can I get that one too? <laughs> Can I try it? But like, I feel like they would even have a complaint though. Like, it's too fatty. Like, I don't know. They want well done steak. They like that, like, tough meat. Like, Wagyu is very, like, fatty yeah. and buttery. So, like, I don't think they would even like. Anyways, I'm getting too specific. The point is, you're not the asshole. Yeah. They're not gonna appreciate it. So, don't spend your money. And you've seen it time and time again. Maybe you can do other things to make them feel like less. Mm -hmm. Left like out. maybe they're just not a foodie, maybe, but you can still group. prepare like a lot of nice things for them, and it's just like not super high quality or super expensive stuff. Mm -hmm. 
I, I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. Like a nice salad, yeah. you know, like, you know, you can still make it colorful and pretty and like mm -hmm. look presentable and like you made effort. True. And you do. You're still making them food. True. That might be also for not disclosing, I had plastic surgery to my boyfriend. Ooh, hot topic, hot yeah. topic, hot topic. I, 26 female, have been dating Max, 25 male, for four months. When I was 22, I had a nose job as I broke my nose twice as a kid and I left it with a large bump. Then at 23, I had a breast augmentation that bumped me up to two cup sizes. These were lifelong insecurities that I was bullied over and it was really relieving to have gotten them done. On to the present, I met Max through a friend and things have been great. Last night, I was strolling through my social media while on the sofa with him. I stopped on an old classmate's vacation photo where she wore a bikini and frankly had very obvious implants. She looks great, happy for her, but you can tell. Max glanced over at that moment and said, gross. Mm. I asked him what was the deal and he said women who get implants or other surgeries are a huge turnoff to most guys mm. and how men prefer natural over two balloons and how insecure she looks. I couldn't help but laugh and said, so you're turned off by me? He got very confused and asked what I meant. I informed him that I had procedures done before. He kept denying it and saying I was joking until I showed him old photos of me. He got quiet and left. Shortly after, I got a text saying I should have disclosed this on the first date. How I led him on and that he needs to reconsider things. It's the next day, haven't heard anything, and I'm bewildered. Am I the asshole? You know what? So I can't believe how many guys think this way. Like, a lot of guys are like very anti-surgery unless it looks like where they can't clock it mm -hmm. but when they know that you've done it they're like i've heard a lot of men say this mm -hmm. it's ridiculous because let me see what you like on instagram let me see who you follow yeah i need to see yeah let me see your fault because i, I know your you history do of like everything. it and yeah it's like as long as it looks good and i feel good and now i'm confident what is the problem what like what is the actual yeah. issue if it did look fake then you already knew kind of thing, right? So it's like... M my thing is, why on the first date do you want her to... The first date is like, so stupid. Just by the way, find my, out your favorite color on like, the first date. Not, by the way, I got my tits done. And my nose is... What? Uh, also, I got my nose done. That's so crazy. just so you know. You should have disclosed that's it on stupid. the first date. Mm -mm. No. What, what he was, is so immature. Was she saying, is he the asshole or is she the asshole for not disclosing it? Is she the asshole? No, she's not the asshole. Yeah. Mm -mm. She, he didn't even know that he felt comfortable enough to talk shit about another girl getting her, her boobs done. Yeah. There's, there's like, I know someone who like is like dating someone else and they just found out that they're, who they're dating with had like, like work done. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even know. Like so many times you don't even know until somebody tells you. Mm -hmm. Like. It's just so stupid. Like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like if you were fine before, like I just don't see why it's a big deal now that you know after the fact. I mean, like okay, listen. You remember that case in, um, in that Chinese family of the wife who she had three kids with this guy. She looks beautiful, but all the kids turned out ugly. Oh, you didn't see that one? No. All the they, there was like because she got so much work done. Yeah, she got so much work done. She basically like manipulated this guy into thinking she's beautiful. And then he was like, why do all these kids look why are they like, not why cute? are they not cute? Because she had a whole other face before. Mm. So like, okay, I get it. It's a it's huge, like, drastic <laughs> change. It's extremely different if it's like major procedures done. But like a boob job, like it's very common in 2023. Nose job too. Yeah. To fix a bump though. Like what's the, I, that? That she got still, from like accidents as a kid. I, I've heard like people be like, that's my kid's problem. If they want to get like their nose job, if they want to get something done to because they're not happy with it, they can do that. I was not happy with it, so I'm going to do that. Like it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and just because your kids, I don't know, like, do you love your kids more if they're more beautiful? Like, they're still your children. Yeah. He sued her. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, he, the Chinese man? Yeah, he literally Whoa. sued her because she manipulated Oh him. my God. Crazy stuff. I seen a, a case like that actually on Judge Judy. But the girl looked the same. She didn't look any different. Yeah. So the judge was like, what are you talking about? No, you're not the asshole. Mm -hmm. um, and let him reconsider because you should reconsider too. Because like, yeah, that right? sounds like super fickle. Yeah. And and it's only been four months. Whatever. Like, yeah. It's, not a like, it's literally just a situation. Yeah. So. That's the thing too. Men are so like double, like double standard. Like they will, you know the Madonna complex, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. It's like they will like Instagram pictures that are, are of women with BBLs that have like crazy proportions, huge boobs and look super fake. But they're like, I can like it on Instagram, but I don't want to do anything to you because you're supposed to be like innocent and like you're not supposed to be those type of yeah. women. Mm -hmm. So like people are saying like it's literally that and like that's how men will back it too. They'll be like, yeah, it's nice to look at, but I don't want to marry that kind of thing. You know, like I don't want to marry that or you can't get that. 
You know what I it's, mean? Like it's that's true. Things, it's like, that you're, true. You're settling for what you can really right. Get. That's so true because if you really had the choice, would you actually not choose that? Like mm -hmm. if if that girl actually wanted you, would you? That's what really like turn her thing. down. Exactly. Like they're liars. Men are liars. That is they're so liars. True. Yeah. They're lying. Yeah. Like, if you can get that girl, you would have gotten that girl. Am I the asshole for telling my wife it was a mistake to stay at the baby shower? So my wife, 26 female, and I, 28 male, have been married for a year and began trying to conceive in September. No luck so far. But the doctor did say at our first appointment that it typically takes close to a year for most couples to conceive. I she's been, that. Yeah, I didn't either. She's been telling people that she's infertile, which isn't true. The doctor said she isn't. My wife and I went to my work Christmas party in mid-December where my wife met my co-worker's wife. Let's call her Mary. And they took a liking to each other. Mary was pregnant and invited my wife to her baby shower, which was yesterday. My wife sounded so excited to go. I asked her when we were alone if she thinks she'll be fine. I know my wife and I know that what typically bothers her. I know she wouldn't bask in happiness over someone else's pregnancy. So I urged her to think it through. She said she's fine and she was excited, so she went. The baby shower was yesterday. About 40 minutes in, she calls me and asks me to come. I was at a cafe nearby because I knew she wouldn't stay long. I find her at the entrance of the house crying and a bunch of women consoling her. Oh my god. When she saw me, she came to me and pulled me to the garden to talk. She said she was dancing and looked at Mary's pregnant belly and couldn't take it anymore. Started crying and ran out. All of Mary's friends followed her out to console her. I controlled her myself and said, Okay, let's go, babe. What do you want to do? Let's go. We can go for a drive so you can feel better. She looked at me weird and said, why would she leave? I asked, why would you stay? She said she feels better now and can go have a good time. I sighed and said, babe, you know that's not going to happen. I doubt the attention will be on Mary after this. And that's not great. It's her baby shower and she deserves to be celebrated. I can't see how people are going to shift their focus from consoling you to celebrating her if you're still here. She rolled her eyes at me and said she was going to go back in and that I could leave. Three hours later, the party was nearing its end, so I go back up to pick her up, and my coworker and I step into the house. And lo and behold, everyone is sitting in a circle, <laughs> with my wife being the center of attention. Are you kidding me? Coworker looked for his wife, and she wasn't there at all. He called her. She said she had left ages ago. My wife and I entered the car, and I first asked her how she was feeling. Wait, who left ages ago? The actual... The, the lady who's pregnant, oh like my God. Her, his co-worker's wife. Yeah. After we spoke about it for a few minutes, I then asked her what happened and why Mary left. She said, oh crap, Mary, I forgot to say bye to her. I told Mary, I told her Mary left ages ago. I then said, I know you're going through a hard time, but why on earth would you and her friends do this? If they consoled you for a few minutes, that's fine, but the entire party, we really should have left earlier. She looked at me and so offended and said, are you Mary's husband or mine? We stared at each other for a while. I just drove home in silence. I told her I want to talk to her this morning to sort things out, but she ignored me and left the house. So am I the asshole? The lack of self-awareness is crazy. This lady's getting psycho. What the hell? Like, Why would you stay if you already emotional and stole the attention once? Like you don't, you don't realize how you come off in the environment that you are in. And like, mind you, know? she was like not even there. Like she's like she. They just met, and like yeah. that's and and like how. Am First of all, like how all of Mary's friends consoling you and then happens again. Imagine how she feels too. And you like, didn't even realize Mary left. Like what is going on? It's giving on? narcissist. It's crazy. It's giving like, like literally like, wanted she, all the attention. She couldn't bear giving like letting Mary have the attention. Mm -hmm. She had to take all the attention for herself. She could not bear it. And then and then she can't even face being told the truth. Yeah. Of like, why would you go back why in? Why would you stay? Like, why would you say? Why would, and then the fact that she was like, oh man, I didn't even say bye to her because I was so busy crying and loving all this attention that I'm getting. People are so scary. Like, that is scary behavior. Like, if this happened in my, like, partnership, I'd be like, oh, you're like, you're, you're not okay. It you're a weirdo. It doesn't make any sense. And I Mary's would, friends are probably like, poor thing. Like, you know, like, actually trying to help her out. Like, why is she? Yeah. Like, you know, like, probably not thinking of any 100%. Like, ill intent. But it's because the husband already said, let's go. And then she chose to stay that's that's where the issue is and yeah. i don't think the friends heard them say you know let's go she he pulled her to the side and yeah. then they had their conversation so you're not yeah. the asshole 
I think your wife is a raging narcissist. Mm -hmm. And you're not saying. infertile. Like, she's making she up she, she, a she, false she, reality she, for herself and then, like, sulking in it. Like, girl, the doctor the said you're, you're fine. It's literally the attention. She literally. just wants the attention. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Because, like, you guys have only been trying for a year. I swear they say, like, it's after, like, one year or two years of trying with no form of, like, birth control and you're still not pregnant that you can then say you are infertile yeah. that's not happened that has not happened for her that is it that's for all. today we hope you guys enjoyed that was a good episode yeah yeah go follow cue the commentary on tiktok please send us your emails if you want us to read we're gonna do a whole reader write-in in, in yeah. the next episode so we hope you enjoyed follow us on cue the commentary on tiktok subscribe like comments and we'll see you in our next video bye bye